I've been working on an AI powered learning environment where you can ask a question of our vast library of mobile videos, almost 500 to date, uh, and you'll get a response back where it recommends the videos and it answers your questions. And we'll be releasing this really, really soon. But here's something that I encountered with uh, magic login links that uh, got me stumped for five minutes. I thought it was a bug and now I discovered it is a security precaution. So I thought I'd point it out to you in this video. Um, if I go into uh, my index page, I've got a login form, email address, sign in, uh, and then I basically adjust the form, hide the form, show a message saying, uh, please check your inbox, uh, and I schedule a back-end workflow. And this is where uh, I thought, well, why is it not working? So here's my back-end workflow, and it just takes an email. And then as I've demonstrated in previous videos with the magic link, I generate a magic link here. But I want to style it more. I don't want to be restricted by the templates that SendGrid uh, provide or, or rather not provide. Um, so I'm not having Bubble send the email. I'm saying create the link, uh, don't send the email. Uh, and then I am uh, putting the link into a loops email and sending it. Okay, so this works. But what I had done initially was to put step two and step three uh, on the page itself and so that was part of the workflow but here's the problem and you might have already worked out but I'll be honest it took me five minutes is that if I am passing a link from step one uh, into step two uh, then if that runs in a front end workflow it's not secure because uh, my user can access that link even if they aren't able to access the inbox that the link is being sent to. So it has to be run in the back end workflow. Now to my knowledge, if you uh, just use the, the default template here and click uh, you know, and, and use this as a workflow action, then it's going to work fine. I just wish Bobble put some sort of notice in here saying you can only use this in a back end workflow where the data isn't accessible to your user if you intend on just creating the link and then inserting it into an email API, a transactional email API like loops uh, to send it. So in a nutshell, if you're going to use magic login link and you want to style your own emails, you need to put them in the back end workflow to do that. Otherwise, it's just not going to pass the link in. Because when I was testing this, I was getting the email, but I was, there was no link. It was just a, an empty string of JSON being sent over to loops. And so I debugged it and then I thought, ah, it's a security precaution. You shouldn't have the link in a front end workflow to begin with. So I put it in the back end workflow and now it works fine.